Hello, I'm Jordan, and welcome to this Rome 2 Rise of the Republic Academy video. Today we'll be looking at the individual factions in Rise of the Republic, and the initial challenges they face at the start of their campaigns. In Rise of the Republic, there are five cultures to choose from in total, vying for superiority over Italy and a few small areas of the surrounding regions. Each culture shares a set of cultural perks, but then have their own faction perks that stack on top of them as well. A faction's playstyle is very much defined by its traits, so playing to their strengths in whatever way it may be can greatly help you during your campaign. Out of the factions we're about to go through, the Insubras, Tarkuna and Veneti are all easy initial challenges. The Aeoli, Senones, Syracuse and the Samnites are all normal initial challenges, with Rome and Taras being the only two hard initial challenges. A faction's initial challenge is based on their strength, their cities and provinces owned in the beginning of the campaign, as well as their economic and military power. Firstly, we have Syracuse. They benefit from the naval prowess, plus two experience rank for Greek ship recruits perk. Also, the Greek Patriotism perk, which gives up to an additional plus six public order bonus from the presence of Hellenic culture. However, in addition to that, they as a faction get a government action to periodically organise an expedition to colonise distant lands, as well as mercenary connections, allowing them to recruit otherwise inaccessible mercenary units. Syracuse are one of the more straightforward initial starts with a normal difficulty rating, good political standing and no way to easily be surrounded or attacked on all sides due to their starting position in Sicily, especially with their naval presence and strength. Taurus, on the other hand, faces somewhat more of a challenge. Also of the Greek states, this time on the coast of southern Italy, they instead provide faction perks that give a government action of philosophers to write scientific treaties for a variety of effects. or a secondary government action where you instead employ philosophers to assist in technological research. They do face a much tougher initial challenge, with all three of their starting cities each being in different provinces, as well being on middling terms of all of their neighbours who will equally be looking to expand their own civilizations through you. For the Gallic tribes, the Sunones are a strong people led by their chieftain Brennus. Ghouls, as a culture, benefit from both Fearsome Ghouls, a perk giving plus 15% from raiding and sacking at all times, as well as Terrors of the Night, where they can always choose to fight night battles in any situation. They also have Invader's Instincts, whereby they can only sack or raid settlements. And they can use a government action, where they may ask the Council of Druids to predict the future of the Senones warriors. They face a normal initial challenge and are already trading with their neighbours, the Umbrai, but do start off immediately at war with the Vaisal to their west. With all their major settlements being coastal, they do suffer from a vulnerability to naval attacks from pirate fleets and any other faction which navally dominates later on in the game. The Insubras, on the other hand, are the northernmost Gallic tribe, settling just below the Alps. As well as the usual Gallic perks, the Insubras gain a barbarian tact giving plus 30 to diplomacy with all factions. And similar to the Senones, a government action, where they can ask the Council of Druids to assist in civil affairs. They have an easy initial challenge, largely due to their more isolated northern starting position. They can't easily be surrounded on all fronts by enemies, due to the same blood political feature, their ability to ally and confederate with other minor Gallic tribes surrounding them is very high, with a reasonably strong supporting economy to boot. For the Italian civilizations in Rise of the Republic, you have Rome, led by Marcus Furius Camillus. As an Italian civilization, they get the Written Knowledge Cultural Perk, giving them plus 10% to research rate, as well as Destined for Greatness, giving minus 50% resistance to foreign occupation for way quicker stabilization of public order in newly conquered territories. As a faction, they also gain a government action, allowing them to organize elections for consuls or a dictator, as they are 100 years into being a republic. And the famous city of Rome itself carries a feature meaning that it has to be conquered not once but twice, with an elite defensive garrison force being summoned to hold Capitoline Hill before the city will fall to occupation or sacking by any enemy, even if the initial defence force has been utterly wiped out. They face a hard initial challenge and massively rely on defeating the Veii to their north to really gain a foothold to build on in the early stages of their campaign. 
Tarkuna, on the other hand, is one of the most prominent starting factions and a major Italian civilization at the time of 399 BC. They can use the government action to periodically organize the Phanum Voltumne, a summit which provides a variety of effects. A mirroring Rome city-based faction perk, Tarkuna suffers a condition of never being able to lose their capital, otherwise they lose the game. They have ample land, good political standings, and a decent military presence from Term 1, making them an easy initial challenge with ample options for their style of play. With a noteworthy, unique building system, whereby the provincial capital gives unique upgrades to minor settlement buildings in the province. As the Italic tribes, the Samnites and Veneti both benefit from Italic independence, plus 10% morale during battles in own or allied territory. They also gain native strength, plus 4 growth per turn in all provinces. They have a very unique faction trait in adaptable warriors, when in normal stance the different unit types receive different bonuses depending on the terrain they're fighting in such as archers gain additional damage buffs when firing from within forests. They also gain a government action, periodically allowing them to initiate the ancient rite of their sacrum, generating a 20 unit army of young eager Samnite soldiers instantaneously, but at double the upkeep cost. Their initial challenge is stated as normal, but in actuality will be quite difficult in the opening 20 turns, with a very limited economy and a lot of pressure to secure two provinces from the get-go against an immediate enemy in Neapolis to your south. The Veneti are the other Italic tribe. They have the unique Venetian Breed perk, where Venetian horsemen ride superior steeds into battle, as well as the government action allowing them to employ the Royal Herd of Horses to assist in military or civil development issues. They have an easy initial challenge with a full province and good economy already secured. Plus, they start the campaign with ample cavalry options that are ready to be upgraded, giving them a significant advantage in any early conquest. Last but not least, we have the Naragic tribe, represented by the Ioli. They get cultural perks in Season Scouts, with increased chance for all characters to discover hidden agents and armies. Plus. Defenders of the Homeland, giving plus one unit recruitment capacity in their capital region. As a faction, they gain the Aeolian Defense, giving enemy armies attrition whenever in Aeolian territories, and a government action, allowing our Sardinian tournament to be held for a variety of positive effects. They have a normal initial challenge, but again, I'd argue they are spread very thin and immediately have to deal with pushing Carthage off the island, which is no easy task. As the only island dwellers in Rise of the Republic, they need to quickly secure both a strong naval and land-based military presence, or they face being overwhelmed and cut off quickly. Researching and upgrading to your Tier 2 military units as quickly as possible is highly advisable with the Oli. Thanks for watching this new factions video on Rome 2 Rise of the Republic. For more information, tips or tricks on Total War, please check out more Academy videos.